Guys, good morning. I'm currently doing my makeup kaya ganito yung tsura ko. Okay, mabother. Pero it's currently 11.11 and it's Sunday. It's May 14. And I'm currently getting ready dito sa kabilang room. Wala ako sa vanity ko kasi ang init doon. And dito may aircon doon. Wala. So, yun. Dito ako nag-aayos. Guys, basically, the agenda for today is dapat mag-SM North kami ni Mama. Kaso, um, feel namin na maraming tao and baka ma-traffic lang kami. Yun guys, nag-decide na lang kami ni Mama. Nandito na lang kami sa malapit mag-celebrate ng Mother's Day. Pero nag ice pa rin ako. And I think after that, we're gonna get a pedicure and then massage. So basically, it's a girl's date. After that or before that, gusto kong tumingin sa fully book kasi gusto kong tumingin ng more books. Kasi lately, na papa lalas ako magbasa and I really like it actually kasi nalilas yung screen time ko sa phone ko and ayun, I'm very proud of myself kasi before, hindi ako nakatapos ng libro tapos ngayon, gusto ko pagbumi ng mga libro, so ayun, so guys, tapos na ako mag-ayos and we're gonna go now kasi guys, kutong na ako and this is my outfit I just wore this tank top and then this flared gray na pants from Shein. Both of these are from Shein. And then I just brought out my Goyard tote kasi bala ko nga bumili ng books. And I also brought a book with me para if ever man mamaya while getting a pedicure, I'm gonna read the book. So, yun. Bye! Hi guys, good morning. So it is a Sunday today. It's May 20. It's around 9 a.m. And we're supposed to leave dapat ng 10 a.m. to BGC with JP. Kaso, <laughs> late kami nagising. Hindi ko pa alam yung agenda namin today. Pero basta po kung na kami BGC, ang gagala kami kasi ang tagal na namin hindi nakakapag-date. So yun. Maliligo na ako. I have my towel. So... Yeah, boy. So guys, nakaligo na ako and nakapagbihis na rin ako. So, I'm just currently doing my makeup. It's currently 10 a.m. And mga 11 na siguro kami or 11.30 makakaalis. Now, I'm gonna share with you guys some of my favorite makeup products lately. Kasi I've been into makeup talaga. Like, get ready with me sa mga TikTok ganyan. And these are affordable makeup products. So, I have like a cream bronzer. A cream blush from She Glam. Ito yung ginagamit ko lately kasi they're really good and I've been using this on my TikTok as well. So, talagang ginagamit ko siya. First, I'm gonna use this Sun Sculpt and this is in the shade Terracotta and I like to use this to bronze up my face. And guys, this is really, really pigmented and creamy. So, I only put a little bit on my face like dots lang. So, this is what the packaging looks like. It has like a sponge for you to apply it. I'm gonna use a brush to blend it out and it's very creamy. Guys, as you can see, the bronze is very natural. It's not too orange as well, which I hate when it comes to bronzers. Like, there are bronzers na super orange and hindi siya maganda. Next is the blush. Again, this is called the Color Bloom Day Glow Liquid Blush. And this is in the shade Love Cake. And this is my favorite blush at the moment. This also has like a very glowy look to it. Ayan. And I'm just gonna blend it using a brush or you can use a sponge. Girl, 
shade is very like cool tone so if you like cool tone pink blushes i highly recommend the shade love cake okay so i'm gonna set my face again this is another favorite of mine and i've actually posted a tiktok about this because i'm really shook about how good the powder is and i use this for my graduation makeup as well so ang ganda talaga ng itsura niya like nakaka smooth siya this is the she glam um skin focus high coverage powder foundation and i'm in the shade butterscotch and what i like about them is super dami nilang shade range as in you can get like morena shades like more deeper skin tone or like fair skin guys actually they sent me a pr package of other shades pero guys hindi lang at yung mga shades nila meron pa silang i ibat ibang like skin tones like mga undertones and i think this one is yung yellow undertone nila or yung neutral this is how it looks like as you can see i've been using Using it talaga. And when you open it, there's a sponge here. And guys, I like using this sponge because it adds coverage to your face whenever you use it. Guys, look at this one swipe. Girl, it's so matte. And sobrang high coverage niya. It has a blurring formula. So, if you have like problems with your pores, kanyan, this powder is really perfect. Guys, this is also talc free ha. So, it's a big plus for them because you know talc is really harmful for our skin and there are a lot of powders that still contains that ingredient pero with the she glam powder foundation you don't have to worry about that and guys i also use this whenever i go to the gym because this has great oil control to it and it's long lasting as you can see guys my face is really smooth and the coverage like sis so guys, to finish up my base makeup, I'm gonna use this Chroma Glow Bloom Liquid Highlighter and this is in the shade Stardust and I'm really excited to try this out. That's what it looks like. It, the packaging is so cute. It's purple. Oh my god. Guys, look at that glow. Can you see that glow? I'm sure. Highlighter, the powder foundation, the cream blush, the cream bronzer, they're all giving. I highly, highly recommend that you guys try She Glam because their products are underrated talaga. So yeah, I'm gonna put the links down below if you guys are interested. The highlight, the ama move on, pero... This. I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup and I will be right back pag -bal. Looking in my eyes. Whoa. She got her books. Are you cold? Do you want to sit down? I've been here a million times, so I know my way around. I know what she said. What?
god. I got you, man. And it's 3.33 p.m. It's the next day. It's a Sunday today. It's May 31. And I don't really have any agenda today. Because parang Sundays are for my tamad days or chill days. And actually, you saw the unboxing of my light stick. And I have it here. Actually, sobrang tagal na na-release nito, guys. As in years na. Pero ngayon lang ako nakapili. Kasi ngayon afford ko na siya. Kasi before, hindi talaga. So palang yun napupuntaan kung parang K-pop group. I went to a concert here in the Philippines. Like I went to Exordium, Elision, and Exploration. Or Exploration mo na bago. Basta yon. Pero I'm so happy. Pero wala pa akong batteries kasi kanina pa lang to dumating and hindi pa ako nakabili kasi hindi ko alam ko anong klaseng batteries yung kailangan niya. But it's basically triple A. Pero ayan, it's so pretty. So excited. Like <laughs> Guys, I also want to show you a collective book haul because for the past weeks, na paparami na yung pagbili ko sa libro. And then yesterday, JP bought me some books, so I'm gonna show you guys a little haul. So yeah, guys, I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight books in total. And eto parang less than a month palang yung pagbibili ko ng libro and na adik na ako. And di ko talaga expect sa akin na maadik ako or magbabasa ako ng libro kasi before, like, wala talaga akong interest other than Wattpad like sa phone, ganyan. Pero yung physical books, talagang hindi ko carry magbasa kasi sobrang nabuboard ako and hindi ko talaga siya natapos. Pero guys, kasi recently, nagbukas yung fully book dito sa may mall namin. So, sabi ko, why not try ko magbasa ng isang libro? And that is this one. Ito yung pinaka first book na binasa ko and it's the It Ends With Us. I feel like many of you, kapag nagbabasa kayo ng libro, parang super common na and cliche na ito yung first book na binasa ko. And there are a lot of people na mix opinions kay Colleen Hoover or kay Coho. Pero ako personally, I really enjoyed this book. Kaya na-attach ako sa kanya. Guys, alam niyo ba, parang less than two days natapos ko na to. Guys, if you're planning to read or like get your first book, I highly recommend this one if you're into romance, kanyan. Just check the trigger warnings of this book kasi may mga um, scenes or there are topics na medyo sensitive. And then the next book na natapos ko is this one kasi sabi ko, why not I try out like a thriller or parang mystery type of book. This one is The Good Girl's Guide to Murder. This one, I would rate this. Oh, let's rate our books kaya. Itay dito. So, I would give my rating to this a 5 out of 5. I swear, it's really really nice and talagang attach ako sa characters here. So, and the second book, guys, I would rate this a 5 out of 5 rent because hindi ko expect yung plot twist niya. Kasi ako, guys, mabilis ako, like, magaling akong manghula, like, sa mga movies, ganyan, kung ano yung mangyayari. Pero dito, hindi ko expect yung nangyayari. So, yung plot twist niya is parang, like, what? The next book that I read is another Colleen Hoover. Kasi after na it ends with us, sabi ko, why not I try again another book from her? And this one is Ugly Love. And... Ito, medyo on the spicy level siya. Like, medyo, if you're 13 below, <laughs> wag niyong basahin to. Kasi medyo, <laughs> And I would rate this one a 3 out of 5 siguro. I mean, I enjoyed it naman. Pero, parang may times na I'm just trying to push through the book. I enjoy ko naman yung book. And may plot twist pa rin siya. Pero it's not like, Whoa. Next book is another Colleen Hoover book. And this one, talaga, dapat hihinto na ako sa pagbili ng Colleen Hoover books muna because I want to try out other authors. Pero ito kasi, nakita ko siya sa TikTok. And sobrang like, yung plot twist daw niya. And guys, I would rate this book 6 out of 5. Like, this is my new favorite book. Kasi, yung plot twist niya, like, after ko basahin yung last page kanina, parang nakatulala lang ako. Like, hindi ko talaga in-expect yung plot twist niya. And actually, yung ending nito is not really naman an open ending. Pero, mapapaisip ka kung like, totoo ba yung mga nabasa mo. Guys, the remaining four books, hindi ko pa ito nababasa. As in, may plastic pa sila. Kasi, ito yung TBR ko. Guys, the next book, this one is It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. And ito, sabay ko sila binili ni Verity. Pero ito yung mas una kong binasa. 
Pero ito, this is a romance book. I think Tessa Bailey is like a really common writer or author na really popular kasi sa mga novels niya, like romance novels. Ako masabi sa kanya actually kasi nga hindi ko pa siya nababasa. Next, this one is a very popular book sa TikTok and this is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And this one, I don't know if it's a romance or um, anong genre siya, pero ang alam ko is just all about the life of Evelyn Hugo. If I'm not mistaken, I'll correct me if I'm wrong. I'm really excited to read this one, pero hindi ko pa siya feel ngayon. Gets nyo ba yung ganong feeling? I don't know sa mga nagbabasa dyan na parang bibilin ko siya kasi gusto ko siyang basahin, pero hindi muna ngayon. Pero this one is by Taylor Jenkins Red. I think that's the author of the Daisy, jo uh, Daisy Jones and the Sixth Trend. I really want to read that also. Pero, this one is one of the books in my TBR. I guess the last two books that I have here, ito yung binala sa akin ni JP yesterday. If you don't know JP, that's my boyfriend. So, ayan, I'm so happy kasi this is like an advanced anniversary gift na sa akin. But yeah, I'm so happy. But first, I have here Malibu Rising. And this one is in the same author of um, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So, I'm really excited to read this one out and Ayan, I think this one, ang pinaka main plot niya is parang um, what happened at the summer end party. Parang one night lang talaga yung um, time na to. I'm not sure, pero ang kapal kasi niya. So, ayan. Guys, this book, and I think this is going to be my next read, and this is The Happy Place by Emily Henry. And I saw this kay Hailey Pham. If you know her, he's She's a international YouTuber na talagang um, for your books yung content niya. It's a romance book, but there are different characters involved, like group of friends sila. So that's why I picked this one out kasi feel ko yung mga binabasa kong mga romance books, parang dalawang characters lang doon na umiikot yung story. Pero this one, iba-iba yung characters niya. And it's a big book, so this is gonna be challenging. I don't know, pero yan, hindi ko pa siya nababuksan. And probably later, sisimulan ko tong book na to pag magpapag-untalk na ako. Pero yeah, this is the final book I have here. Everything I have, and I'm really, really happy that I get to have this new hobby now. Kasi for me, sobrang naging helpful siya sa akin kasi hindi na ako masyadag sa screen time. Yeah, if you guys have any suggestions sa mga books, especially thriller books, kasi gusto ko magbasa ng thriller na genre, comment down below. Pero I'm planning to get The Silent Patient and The Housemaid. Please let me know if you've read that already. Comment down below if you reco that. Yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Wala na rin naman akong gagawin. So, girl, I'm just gonna order some food and relax. And then later, I think I'm gonna do some of my backlogs. Pero, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye! Boo! Bye! <laughs>